In this video I'll explain how to add a panel border to a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in the video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, you can see the structure of our data set. And as you can see, our data frame contains six rows and two columns, which are called X and Y. And both of these columns contain numeric values. Now, if you want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint, as you can see in lines eight and nine. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a scatter plot with six data points. And you can also see that at this point, our plot is not showing a panel border. So if we want to add a panel border to this plot, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 12 to 15. So in these lines of code, I'm first specifying the name of our plot object that we have created before. And then I'm adding to this the theme function. And within the theme function, I'm specifying the panel border argument. And I'm setting this argument to be equal to the element rect function. And within this function, I can specify the parameters of our panel border. So in this case, I want to set our color of the panel border to this hex code that you can see here. Then I'm specifying the fill argument to be equal to NA. And I'm specifying the size of our panel border to be equal to 10. So the larger this value is, the thicker is the panel border that we are creating. So if you run lines 12 to 15 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And as you can see, we have created a relatively thick border around our plot. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to use the theme function to add a panel border to a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.